the Virginia Cavaliers. Now, you know that I enjoy Bronco. I know. And and you tend to enjoy Bronco a little bit. Yeah, I, I like Bronco Mendenhall, okay? But I, I will say this. Uh, last year felt a little... Last year was weird. I mean, they went 5-5. Five and five. They last went 9-5. and five. For a lot of people. Yeah, went 9-5 and five the year before that. Uh, their win total this year is 6. To go over it is minus 140. To go under it is plus 110. SPI or SP plus, excuse me, has got them going uh, five and seven. FPI has got them going seven and five. So the six, of course, right in the middle. I, I look at the schedule. Like last year, they started one and four and they finished four and one. That got them to five and five. They return all their biggest playmakers from you know the late season turnaround. They got all five of their offensive linemen back. Quarterback Brennan Armstrong like showed massive improvement last year. The defense, set for you know a rebound with a lot of seniors coming back. But I think at this point under Bronco Mendenhall, it's kind of fair to question like the upside of the two deep on defense, especially. I I don't know how much talent is actually there, and when I look at the schedule, I I just I have a hard time getting them to seven wins. Yep. Can't so do it. so with that, I'm going to take the under. Yeah, cannot do it. So I mean BYU Notre Dame. Uh, you know, Illinois might even be tough in the non-conference with Brett Bielema. I was like, just about to say, this is that's going to be week two for Brett. Yeah. Those and, guys and are going to be fired up, ready to play. If I think that that Duke is, or not Duke, I'm sorry, if uh, if Wake Forest, I think it's going to be over. I was just about to say, if, if you like Georgia Tech, Georgia if you Tech, like Wake Forest, if you like Louisville. This is one of those games for them. You, you just can't give it to them. You're 100% right. So under six at plus 110 and you're going under same. six. Oh, yeah. And I like yeah. getting the plus odds as well. I think that's wrong. Same here. I think the odds are backwards there. All right. No. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe. And we'll see you soon.